Hey guys, it's me, Ronald's Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. This is the on the snow, snow before you go forecast. We're looking at a tough stretch. Big western high pressure. There's not a lot of action in the forecast. And if I were focusing on one area for some of the best snow this week, it's not going to be a lot. It's probably the northeast. Take a look at my spider chart right here. As you can see, no area is particularly high on the uh, on the web. But uh, the northeast, I'd look at Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, especially New Hampshire and Maine. Um, I'd look at those areas. There is one front for Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico uh, during the period as well. But it does not look big. It's fast. It's minor. So those areas are a little higher on my web as well. Um, I'd look at the Pacific Northwest, Banff, and parts of um, um, BC, but again, not even uh, the totals for those areas are not going to be large at all. I'll show you all that in just a sec. Let me take you up to uh, Sunday River. So this is up in Maine, Sunday River. Beautiful day, a lot of sunshine. It is a cold start up there. It's like zero or colder in a lot of these uh, resorts in the Northeast, but I've got, let's see, two or three different storm systems lined up for the Northeast. They're all fast moving and minor. There's one that comes up the coast, then there are a couple of clippers behind it. But beautiful sunny morning up there at Sunday River. Let me just show you the pattern here. Um, so let me take you way out in the Pacific because this is going to be the dominant uh, flow. The jet's doing this. It's running all the way up into BC and then curling down like this across Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, and then it's kind of running up into the Northeast. So. Here's the deal. All this energy, and I'm going to outline this in green, all this moisture will kind of get routed up like this. And there may be one piece that breaks off down the road and comes down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. Um, that's the best hope because that's all on that eastern periphery of that high pressure, which is going to be a big deal. Um, it, it's a big boy, and it's sitting right here, and it is going to keep um, California... Um, it's going to keep Nevada and Utah totally dry all the way for the next five, seven, nine, ten days. It's going to be a long haul with this high pressure in control. Um, will that change? That's one of the key parts of this forecast. So it's not just as dry, but I want to make sure I outline if there's going to be a pattern change. And I do think there is, but we're going to have to wait a long time, probably 14, 15, 16, 17, 18th of the month. In fact, let me just show you what the GFS is thinking right here. So... Let me take you into Monday morning, and here we are. Monday morning, um, <laughs> there's nothing across the west. The lower 48, big high pressure. There's some action in the Pacific Northwest, B.C., and parts of uh, western Alberta, but not a lot. These are very light areas of snow. Um, Looking to the, uh, the northeast, you can see there's a low coming up the coast. Here's Tuesday morning. That brushes New Hampshire and Maine and Massachusetts with some snow in action. But again, it's so far offshore, and it's not a big low pressure. Um, looking out west, that's let's see Wednesday morning right here. This is the 9th of February. Here comes the next clipper that will uh, brush the northeast. You can see that there, Wednesday and Thursday, and into Friday as well. Um, look at that. There you go. I mean, everything is just missing the west. All right, so there's uh, Saturday morning. Now, not indicated here, but in my forecast, is a cold front dropping down, and I'll show you why. You see that low coming down uh, across the U.S.-Canadian border? That's going to drag a cold front down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and I do think we'll get some moisture um, through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico um, late Friday into Saturday. It's not shown here, but I think it's going to happen. And then by the time we get into, uh, look at that, Saturday, uh, next clipper hits the northeast Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday morning. So I, I think when you look at the, uh, the weight of everything over the next five to seven days, again, the snow's not going to be big for the northeast, but I think the northeast is, is the place to be for the most consistent storm track and coldest temperatures because uh, while there are some storms lined up for the Pacific Northwest through this upcoming Sunday, snow levels are going to be running high, and I'm just kind of reversing and backing up here. Snow levels are going to be running high. Now, this is the 13th, and here is the 14th. The morning of the 14th, there's a little bit of something going on. Look at the Pacific Northwest. Look at Idaho. Look at Wyoming. 
Um, and look at that low dropping into California. This would be the first sign of anything in a long time that affects California. This is the 15th, the morning of the 15th. Here's the morning of the 16th. You can see there's a low that actually pierces that high pressure. So there is hope down the road, but it is a long way down the road. Here are my forecast numbers, and we're just talking just scraps of snow here all of today through the 15th. Um, again, that snow coming down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico comes Friday, Saturday with that, that small Arctic front that I think will brush or pierce the eastern periphery that high. But even the numbers up in the Pacific Northwest and BC and beyond are so small at this point. Um, let me show you what I'm thinking for the Northeast. The, the, basically three different storm systems. There's one that comes up the coast and there's two clippers behind that. This is where the most consistent snow and coldest temps are going to be. And we're not talking big snow here. One to seven inches depending on your location. I'd focus obviously on Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine throughout that period. So that's the way it looks right now. Kind of a tranquil period. There are a couple of spots to watch like the Northeast, but that's going to do it for this update. This is the On the Snow, Snow Before You Go forecast. Thank you for tuning in here. Take care.